Santee from the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Today we're going to be talking to you about transportation in the Old West. So, climb aboard for the ride of your life. Did you get that? That was an 80s reference. Didn't? I don't remember. Climb aboard for the ride of your life. Families traveling from the east would invest in a Conestoga wagon, also known as a prairie schooner. This large covered wagon could carry up to six tons, which would hold all their belongings for their relocation to the untamed frontier. It had a brake between the two left wheels, and a teamster would have to walk or ride alongside to operate it. This caused them to drive on the right side of the road, which became the custom in America. Stagecoaches were a popular method of getting from one place to the other. Sadly, it was uncomfortable and very dangerous. Heck, they were getting held up all the time by rapscallions like Bill Brazelton. About every 10 miles, a stagecoach would stop to refresh the horses and allowed the passengers to rest and get food. In Mark Twain's 1870s book, Roughing It, he mentioned that they fed him condemned army bacon because the stage company bought it cheap. Oh, well, how bad could it be? It's still bacon. Traveling by train was the cutting-edge technology of the era. Once the Transcontinental Railroad was completed in 1869, steam-powered locomotives carried people, goods, and livestock to major hubs all over the country. It was also targeted by desperate men who found them to be traveling bank vaults. Other modes of transportation include buggies, carriages, sleds, wagons, bicycles, and balloons. Let's not forget the most common form of transportation, the horse. Every town had them, most laborers used them at some point. We'll go more into horses in a later installment since they deserve their own episode. May think something's rotten in Denmark. This is a chuck wagon owned by Dan Hickman. You can see a toolbox here on the side. Chuck box would be used to keep plates, cups, silverware, um, dry goods, the beans, the sugar, um, all the flour they would use to make biscuits. In the back of the wagon, normally the truck driver would haul all the bed rolls because cowboys would bed down uh, wherever the truck wagon was. In the mid-1800s, the Army introduced camels to the southwestern territories because of their acclimation to the climate and environment. However, this experiment failed. Not many soldiers knew how to handle them, and they actually do spit. Woo -woo! Sweet. <laughs> Thanks for. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail.